Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought we could once again have a look at furnishing, why it is important, and how to level it efficiently, and what to do with it once you have it leveled. I know I've made this video before, but so much has changed since I made that one that I thought it was an appropriate time to update this guide, because I've been getting so many people asking if my old one would still work, and the answer is no. So let's get into it. So first thing we should have a look at, of course, is why furniture. Well, furnishing in New World is one of the most fun, profitable professions in the game, especially now with the introduction of music. As a furnisher, you will be able to craft very cool home decor, beds, tables, shelves, chairs, anything that you can imagine that would decorate your home, you will likely find in this trade skill. You will also be the one people turn to when they want storage chests made, which, as we all know, is always important, because storage in this game can become an issue really fast for anyone who does not have the top tier chests. One of the main reasons though that anyone should want a level furnishing is of course trophies. As a furnisher, you will be the one to craft the major trophies for you, your company, or even to sell as a service or to craft and place on the market. Trophies are very important to every aspect of the game, from combat to gathering, even to fishing. A furniture maker will always be able to make some coin crafting these. And finally, now as a furnisher, you will be the one making the new musical instruments that have come to the game with the new musician trade skill. The guitar, the mandolin, the flute, the drums, these are all made by you. And right now the prices and demand are high, so no better time to max this skill. So, let's get into the leveling. From 0 to 50, the first thing you will want to make here is 66 apprentice drums. The reason for this is because when you craft musical instruments, you require as a material the lower tier versions. And you are going to need these later, so you might as well get some experience for them now. So for this you will need 660 timber, 198 iron ingots, 264 sandpaper, and 990 ash stain. Now that we've made these, we will salvage them for the new charms, and get back to the leveling. You see, for each one you salvage, you now get a charm. They changed this recently because making them in mass was a pain for storage. Much easier to just store a stack of charms. Now this will only give you roughly 2,112 furniture experience, but again, you will need these for later. I have included two options for completing your training to level 50 because of Fresh Start. On Fresh Start, the market will be very different than it will be for Legacy. So for Legacy, we will be making the Mother's Love Statuette. This comes from a schematic you will have to go out and get, but it isn't difficult. You head to this location here in Eden Grove and you will see a monument. Now I will say before we look at it, this is probably the realest and saddest as well as the most beautiful location in the game. Many of you do know why, and if you don't, I would suggest googling it. When you interact with it, you will receive a lore page that was written by a dev for his wife who passed. You will also, of course, learn the schematic for the Mother's Love statuette. Now, after you have learned this schematic, you will want to craft 491 of these. This will require 1964 stone and 491 milk. These were fairly inexpensive to make, and I couldn't, to be fair, bring myself to salvage them. So I placed them on the ground to be taken by the server. I know, a bit silly, but something just didn't feel right about salvaging them. And for fresh start, you will want to make 99 round sunny rugs. For this you will need 1485 linen. 495 wire weave, and 495 fiber. You can of course do this on Legacy, but with the price of linen and fiber being so high, and milk being 0 0.12 of a coin, you will still be better off making the Mother's Love statues. Now, moving on to 50 to 100. Here, we will be crafting 66 musicians' drums. For this, we will need 990 lumber, 264 steel ingots, 330 sandpaper, 1,320 maple stain, and 132 snail slime. Everything here is pretty simple. The only thing here you may want to farm because the price tends to go up and down is the snail slime. You can get this from salvaging aquatic snails, which of course you will catch in fresh water in First Light, Monarch's Bluff, Everfall, Brightwood, and Restless Shore, and of course Eden Grove, but this will take some time. So if the price is reasonable, buying them will be your best option because you don't need very many. Again, salvage them, because like before, we again need the higher tier charms. Now for this section, I will once again provide two options. For Legacy, 
Now, the easiest method to finish this section up in terms of material cost will be once again making Mother's Love statuettes. You will need to make 1,312 of these to reach 100 furnishing from this point, which will require 5,248 stone and 1,312 milk. Again, I wouldn't salvage these, but it's entirely up to you. I'm just being sentimental. And for fresh start, sunny rugs once again. 262 round sunny rugs. This will require 3,945 linen. 1,315 wire weave, and 1,315 fibers. Now that we have reached 100 furnishing, this is where things used to get very difficult, but with changes in the July patch along with some new recipes, this is exactly the opposite. So from 100 to 150, we will be making 66 composer's drums once again. For this we will need 1,320 wordwood planks, 330 star metal ingots, 396 sandpaper, 1,650 oak stain, and once again, 132 snail slime, and 132 resonant hides. These are a new type of hide that was added with the July patch. You will make it over at the tanners using lumber and rugged leather. Nothing extremely rare or expensive here. And that's it. That's all you had to do to reach 150 furnishing now. So much easier than the old days of spending hundreds of hours or tens of thousands of coin on beeswax. And once again, salvage your drums, because like before, you will need the drum charms. Now that we have reached 150, it is time to finish up our training. To do this, we will be making 26 virtuoso drums. To make these 26 drums, we will need 910 ironwood planks, 208 auric alchem ingots, 390 sandpaper, 1300 mahogany stain, 104 snail slime, and 156 resonant hides. Now I know snail slime can get expensive, and does take time to fish up, but what makes these better is the overall cost. I will break it down based on my servers and all the other servers' economies, which I did check on the New World database for price history. So from 1 to 150 it'll take 34,231 mahogany stain, which would require 342,310 solvent, and 136,924 oil which would cost you an astounding 171,839 coins. Where the high-end materials for the drums would be 910 ironwood, 208 auric alchem, 104 snail slime. The rest of the materials come at a very low cost. So for the high-end materials for the drums, you're looking at around 28,600 coin. That's a huge savings, almost 140,000 coin difference. If the snail slime is simply just out of your price range, then you can fish it. And the best place to do this is between the three hotspots in first light. You will get the required snails in no time. Or farm something else, something like hyssop, and sell it for coin and then buy the slime. Whichever you decide, the cost from 150 to 200 just can't be argued here. And then boom, you're done. You're 200 furniture. I dare say that this used to be the most difficult professional level, and it has now become probably the easiest. Unbelievably easy, right? The days of making 30,000 stains wasting hundreds of thousands of coin, those are gone now. And the nice thing about these drums is you can sell them for a decent profit if they have the right perks. So now that your furnishing is 200, what's next? Well, there is a ton of coin to be made. I have included links in the description to the routes I run for rare furniture schematics, trophy mats, and more. All of the items that you as a furniture maker will want to be farming. Because when you get these, you can craft trophies, rare furniture, chests, and sell them on the market and make a ton of coin. One thing a lot of people overlook is the benefit of incense. Now, as a 200 furniture maker, you can craft the highest quality of this, which is incredibly useful in almost any combat situation. And of course, craft and decorate your home. There's a lot of times in New World when we are waiting on content drops, and we really don't have a ton of exciting things to do. This is the time when you'll want to put your furniture skill to use and decorate your home in cool ways. Now, the biggest way to make money with your furniture skill will be by making golden steel storage chests. To learn this, you will need to find the schematic for it, and this won't be easy, as it is the rarest in the game. Or one of them if it isn't quite the rarest. It only drops from elite ancient chests and elite supply chests, in level 50 plus zones, and the drop rate is extremely low. And when I say low, I mean it. 0.00023% low. And yep, you guessed it, it's not influenced by luck. You can also get it from tier 3 furniture aptitude crates, but this is not a way to go about getting it. When you open a tier 3 furniture aptitude crate which doesn't come by cheap, you have 25% chance to receive a schematic, and there are 227 in the potential pool. So the chances of pulling this one are very, very low. You can, in a way, effectively double your chances of getting it, however, which I will admit isn't much when you're talking about the drop rate on this, but it is something. So when you loot an elite chest on game side you roll, 
and if you roll the correct amount you will access the loot bucket for the chance at the schematic for this chest. However, once this has been achieved you will then have another roll game side that will randomly select one of the items in the bucket, which of course contains 22 items as seen on the screen. Now if you look closely you will notice something. Do you see it? 11 of these items are zone locked to Evanscale Reach. So what does this mean? If you farm elite chests outside of Evanscale, you eliminate 11 items from your potential roll. So when you do get lucky and you roll to access this loot pool, you will have a lot less items in your random roll for the chest schematic. In any event, this will be very difficult and it will take some time. But in the end, it will pay off in a huge way. So be sure to hit those elite chests every day once you max the skill. Your wallet will thank you later. Okay guys, that's all for this one. I will be posting the weaponsmithing next. So until then, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.